Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Real American here. Sorry about the gaps, but work's been kind of crazy the last few weeks, so finally get one out. This video comes from a man named Pranks, Audit, and More. I've just recently started looking at his work, and it's... Eh, he has issues. Basically, it takes place in Las Vegas, Nevada of early 2020 or 21, I'm not sure of the date. But basically, we have two minors who are being detained slash arrested by the police. And this guy is recording the confrontation. And as with him, ended up getting arrested. So let's step back and take a look and see what happens. So as you can see, we're looking at another cell phone recording. I think we're just walking around with having to stumble onto this. So we see one of the suspects in custody right there on the, on, basically on your right. The other one's on the left, and we're going to get started right now. There's the other one. So we're not sure about this guy here. It's see that the kid on the other side is definitely a minor. So we pretty much have at least one of them as a minor. So again, he's just talking to him right now. He's either being video recorded. So basically, it looks like the kids told the police officer that they don't want to be recorded. And again, these are minors. So they do have some protection from things like this. If you live in Nevada and you know the law more specifically, can you link that below or a place where we can research it below? Just to be sure so we can clarify a little bit later on. Yeah. Hey boss, how you doing? So usually I don't have an issue with uh, videotaping, but these are minors. So are you going to continue videotaping minors? Are you going to continue videotaping minors? Because they don't want to. Hello, you can go to jail if you want, that's what you want. You can videotape adults all day, but if you're gonna videotape a minor, your phone's gonna be subpoenaed because that's potential evidence on the phone, okay? So if that video goes over there to the beat the minors, then I'll address you again, okay? Thank you. So let's be very clear on this. The kids in arrest the minors who are being arrested have asked they do not want to be videotaped. They requested it. There's also a law that says that you cannot videotape minors, whether it's federal or in the state of Nevada, I do not know. The police officer was very respectful, very polite, and very straightforward. He made it clear what would happen if he videotapes the minors. As you can see, this guy it went in his ear and out of his ass. So here we go. It's party time! Why don't you the First Amendment protected activity. It's the First Amendment protected activity. No, you were told they are minors. You violated their rights for your own gain. If you were a news crew, they would have been blurred out. If you were a professional, you would have had it blurred out. Standing there, not saying anything while the guy's talking to you, is no sense of protection at all. It's not exempt you from anything. Basically, you just stood there like an idiot. You played a game. And now you're going to face the consequences. 
It's the First Amendment, pal. Has nothing to do with it. It's the First Amendment protected activity. This is unlawful. This is unlawful. I haven't done nothing. This is a First Amendment. I haven't done nothing. What we're dealing with here is a complete lack of respect for the law. Relax, relax. relax. This is the First Amendment. Relax. I haven't done nothing. Relax. Police retaliation. For what? Arresting me for what? I'm not allowed to stand up for myself? I thought this was America. Huh? Isn't this America? I'm sorry. I thought this was America. This is the First Amendment. I haven't relax. done nothing. You're being taping minors. You're being taping minors. I'm not taping minors. So. As you can see, the Kyle Ferrara gonna play this game. Uh, doing some research on this guy, what little I could find, I, don't, I couldn't get a name off. If somebody knows his name, please link that. I have his name for reference. But watching some of his videos, I know that he had a hearing aid in his ear, so I don't know if he's he was deaf and he learned to speak through the ultimate that some people who are deaf can still speak, and maybe that's one reason why his words are the way they sound, or he could be mentally disabled, and that's nothing to make fun of. But we just don't know. But either way, he obviously could hear what the police officer was saying to him. And this default First Amendment an audit does not protect you. Remember, these were minors under the age of 18. They are for certain extra protections from adults. The police officer himself said, if these were adults, I wouldn't have cared. But these are minors. They are granted certain protections for their own well-being. If you are a parent, you would understand that. So, I don't know much about who this guy is. Two of the videos that he filed, one says he filed a complaint with Las Vegas PD, Internal Affairs. He got a letter back saying they were going to, they appreciate the concern, they were going to look into it. But the body footage alone, this video alone, destroys that complaint. And it just, I'm hoping we're not looking at another Bucket Boy or News Note Omaha situation where this guy's going to get manipulated like they were to be the punching bag for the auditors. Because we saw what happened with Omaha almost twice. He's gotten sh almost gotten shot by the police because well, the auditors stood by and threw him under the bus so they can get their videos out. Alright, so guys, take care. I will see you when I see you. Have a good one. Be safe.